Hi guys, Sam here. So yeah, I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while. My eyeliner doesn't match, my makeup's probably running because this is my second time recording this because everything just seems to be going wrong and I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while but you know, we're just, we're just gonna leave it at that and we're just, we're just gonna continue on with the video, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Alright. So today's video is basically going to be a list. Oh my god, that's like so boring. Why a list? Well, it's going to be a list of mini rants of things that I'm tired of hearing that I've been hearing around the internet a lot. And, you know, opinions. Probably no one cares about mine. And, you know, that's completely fine. But, you know, I just like to express myself. So, you know what? We're just, we're, we're just going to get started. Number one. Frozen. People complaining about Frozen. Yes, I completely understand we all have different tastes, and it's 100% okay if you don't like Frozen. But just as you are probably tired of hearing about Frozen and Let It Go, we are tired of hearing about you complain about it, okay? It's a movie. Let it go, people. Just, just let it go. Ow. I didn't do that. Number two. Apple versus Android. There is no actual competition. Maybe between the two companies, but between Android users and iPhone users, there really shouldn't be a competition because there is such a thing as preferences. So why on earth should an Apple user hate an Android user or an Android user hate an Apple user? It's just completely pointless to me. Like, oh my God, look at you. You have a different phone than me. You know what? You know what? You know what? You suck. You know why you suck? Because you got a different phone than me. Yeah, your, your, your phone's overpriced. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? Your, your phone, your, your, your phone, your, your phone, your phone. Your phone is a, it's an Android. But yeah, so everyone has their own preferences. Someone who prefers full-on customization would prefer an Android. Someone who prefers simplicity would prefer an iPhone because it's simple and it's easy and I like simple. I don't need to customize my phone. I really don't. Just put music on it. Yeah, no point in arguing. It's just a damn phone. Get over yourselves. Number three. Let's Players, or gaming YouTubers, or YouTubers that game, upload gaming videos, uh, I don't know the correct term, but yeah, uh, people will complain about them. So I'm not complaining about gaming YouTubers, or Let's Players, or whatever the correct term is, I don't watch many gamers, um, not really my thing, quite off topic, uh, but yeah, I'm complaining about the people who complain about them. So this one is more commonly seen with uh, within small YouTuber communities. So like you know people like under like 3,000 subscribers or even sometimes a bit more than that. But it's within that kind of group, and they're like, Oh my God, I work so hard on my videos. I put so much effort into them, and I barely get any recognition. But some loser uploads a 30-minute video with him talking over a game, and he gets like subscribers like that like that that's just not fair they don't put any hard work into it and I I slave over my computer all day I sit around all day thinking about video ideas and you know I just put a lot of work into my videos and like I should have more subscribers than those people you know no I don't know basically people who complain like that you should also get over yourselves you know why because if you put as much effort into your videos as you say you do, you will get recognition, okay? YouTubers who upload gaming videos, they have to be interesting for people to watch. There are very few gamer YouTubers that I watch, but they have to be interesting. And just as they have to be interesting, so do you. You will get the rec recognition, bleh. you will get the recognition if you create good content. Okay, so stop complaining about how successful someone else is and they don't put as much work into their videos as you do because if you put as much work uh, if you put as much work into your videos as you say you do you will get the subscribers, you will get the views just stop being a big baby Okay, get over yourself and stand up from the crowd because there are a lot of people trying to make it on YouTube Make yourself different Number four Vegetarians Now this one I'm sick of both ends of the stick. You eat meat? Ugh, you're a horrible person. Yes, I love meat. Now get off my ass about it. 
and then everyone's arguing about what's right, what's wrong, who's crazy, who's cruel, and etc. and etc. and it's just... Stop. Yes, I eat meat. I am not a vegetarian, but I stick up for vegetarians. But then to the vegetarians that complain about meat eaters and saying how it's immoral and it's wrong and it's cruel and such and such and such and such, this took me a long time to grasp. Okay? Are you ready? You ready? Okay. Everyone has their own sets of morals. What is wrong to you may not be wrong to someone else because they grew up with a different set of morals. Now, what if instead of getting mad, you try to understand? Crazy idea, right? Crazy idea. But anyone's beliefs on what's right or wrong is pretty much okay as long as it's within the law. You know, like, if you go around killing someone and you say it's because your morals are that way, that's still kind of wrong because you're killing people. This can get really deep really fast and we're not going to go there, but everyone has their own sets of morals and as long as it stays within the law, it's all okay. Because our own morals and ideals and beliefs and all that is what makes us unique. Because if everyone were the same and everyone were a vegetarian or everyone were a meat eater and everyone liked the same shows and everyone liked the same things and we all looked alike, it would be really boring. So these opinions and morals and beliefs and ideals are good to be different. Can we just leave it at that and just try to understand one another? One, an one another, one another, one another, it would be much easier for you. Believe me. It took me a long time to believe that too. Uh, I think I'm moving on. Yeah, okay. Number five is, I don't know. Number five is the friend zone. I am so tired of this one. It's overused and misused. Yes, there are heartless bitches out there that'll put you in the friend zone and keep you there as a safety net, but giving you just enough attention to have you remain hooked. That is being friend zone to the worst degree. But if a girl literally has no feelings for you and she's being straight up with you about it, yes, she may be putting you in the friend zone, but that's nothing to bitch about like, Oh my god, she's a heartless bitch. I'm right here. I'm a nice guy. You can't control who you fall in love with. And this can go both ways because I've been put in the friend zone too. Okay, yeah. So it could be the guy putting the girl in the friend zone. It does happen. A uh, thank you. But anyway, you can't control who you fall in love with. And yes, that means you fell in love you, person A, fell in love with person B. That is not your fault. You can't control it, okay? Just as you can't turn off your emotions, person B can't turn on their emotions for you. And if they're being straight up with you about it, fucking respect, okay? There are people that will lead you on. This person is being straight up honest with you that they want to be your friend. And if that's not what you want, then move the fuck on, okay? Don't go around complaining, oh, person didn't want me. Just move on leave it alone that wasn't supposed to happen and if you don't want to be just friends then you can leave nothing's stopping you from walking away and if you believe she's keeping you as a safety net then leave it's not that hard anyway yeah i'm done i believe so little rants over i wonder how long this video is going to be so that's my video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, you can click on the big red button over here or the gray button below the video that says subscribe to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Monday and Friday. And if you haven't seen my previous video, you can click over there to go watch it, which it's a Christmas video, so I don't think you'll want to go watch it. So let's maybe replace it with some random video of mine and put it there. Alrighty, so that's a random video of mine that you can go and watch. Or maybe I should put a play. No, I already said random video. So random video it shall be. Also, leave a comment down below with things from the internet that you are tired of hearing. Or if you disagreed with me, go right ahead. Shout your opinions. You know, it's fine. I'm not going to take them to heart. Because understanding. Everyone has their own sets of morals, even though some of them are quite wacky. But anyway, <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, okay. So I'll see you in my next video. Okay. All right. All right. Bye, guys. I hate clocks.